This demonstration is designed to provide you with an overview of the MP Studio application. I'm going to be covering a number of areas, all of which we go into much more detail in some other videos that we posted. I'm going to cover authoring, management pack backup and version control, management pack analysis and documentation, tuning management packs, workflows, and finally change and audit reporting. So to begin with, let's just get an orientation of the MP Studio console. You see here in the left hand side, we have two categories of information. We have the management pack store and we have a management group that we registered when we initially installed the application. One thing we encourage people to do is if you're ever in doubt uh, about how to do something, right click on that object. That will bring up all the various features and capabilities that are available in this example. I'm showing you the features of the management pack store. Similarly for a management group, we can do the same thing and provide you with a list of all the different features that are available in this case on a management pack or sorry, a management group, which we've registered within the application. So first we're going to cover management pack authoring and uh, going to go through this pretty quickly because we uh, have another module that offers a lot more details about authoring management packs. To begin, I'm going to click on the new management pack menu option. It's going to provide an introductory screen. We then ask for a name of the management pack. And we're also going to be asked where we want to save this management pack. So I can save it to my file system, but we certainly would recommend saving it to the store database. So I'm going to browse the store database. I'm going to actually create a new folder called development, and we're going to save the management pack into that development folder. It's going to ask us for what version of SCOM this management pack will be intended. And let's go ahead and just create an empty management pack to begin with. So now the structure of the management pack will be created. It's created, as you can see in my left hand side, it's created a development folder within the store that's going to help me organize management packs that I'm working on. And then it's going to open up the management pack for us to begin making changes to it. Because of the tight integration between the authoring environment and the management pack store, any changes we make to the management pack will be automatically tracked within our store database. That allows us to go back to previous versions. That allows us to look at changes that we've made to versions and also allows us to look at an audit report showing us all changes that have been made to that management pack over time. We can also deploy it directly from the store by simply right clicking on the management pack and selecting deploy. This next section is going to provide an overview of the management pack backup capabilities of MP Studio. We have a registered management group available to us within, the, within our console. And to initiate a backup, all I need to do is simply right click on that management group, choose to backup unsealed MPs to the store. Now you see I have two options here. I can do this now, or I can schedule this backup to happen on an ongoing basis. Let's do it. Uh, let's do a backup right now. So what you're going to see happen is a new backups folder will be created in the management pack store and all the unsealed management packs from this particular management group will be copied into that folder. Once that backup operation is complete, we can take a look at the unsealed management packs that have been backed up to our MP store folder. And something I'll point out is that as those unsealed management pack changes within your management group, MP Studio will automatically pick up the changes that are made to those management packs and provide you with the ability to report on changes to either an individual management pack or changes across all unsealed management packs that are installed within that particular management group. MP Studio provides a rich set of capabilities to allow you to analyze and report on management packs within your environment. This can be particularly useful if you're, say, deploying a new management pack, you want to understand what data it's going to collect, what alerts it's going to generate. So let's go down and look at a management pack that's installed already in my environment. For example, the SQL management pack, I'm going to select the view option. This is going to open up the SQL Server monitoring management pack and allow me to look at the different characteristics and elements that are contained within that particular management pack. 
In this particular view, I can click on any one of these elements, such as monitors, and view all the monitors that are contained within the SQL Management Pack. This view is highly customizable, and I can group based on any of the information that is displayed. For example, if I only want to look at unit monitors, I'm able to do just that. I can scroll across and look at additional information. And something I'll point out are these two fields that we're looking at, type ID and meaning. We've added some additional metadata to help you make sense of what each of these particular MP elements is actually doing. I can also do a multiple group by. So if I want to, for example, only look at monitors that are enabled, I have the ability to do that. And I can take this information, I can export this out to Excel to share it with other stakeholders. I can save this view if I want to continue using the same view going forward. And if I need to look at information on any one of these items in particular, I can right click on that. I can do a couple of things, including look at the properties of this particular item. MP Studio provides a number of features allowing you to tune management packs and also manage the overrides that you have running within your environment, including a feature that allows you to test a management pack, which simulates the implementation of the management pack so you can see what information is going to be collected, what alerts are going to get generated. You can run testing either on an installed management pack or a management pack that you have within your store environment. We also allow you to manage overrides on a uh, group basis as well. So for example, I can click on right click on my management group, I can select the generate overrides feature. And here I can generate overrides in bulk for one or more management packs within my infrastructure. So if for example, I wanna turn off a whole bunch of uh, elements within my environment, I can select any number of management packs. We're gonna seek out common elements within each of those management packs and give the ability to override those properties. For example, if I want to disable every one of those rules and monitors and discoveries, I'll have the ability to do so using this capability. We also have the ability to view all overrides that are running within my environment. I'm going to right click on the management group. I'm going to say view selected management packs. I'm going to select all unsealed management packs and what's going to happen is this is going to produce a report showing me all elements within all unsealed management packs within my environment, including all the overrides. So this is going to produce a, a single report showing me all overrides that are installed in this particular management group. So if I go down and look at the overrides elements, here we can see the overrides that are running. And as I scroll across, we have some more information about the overrides, a property override, a rule override. I can see the value, the default value plus the override value. I can see information about where that management pack, or sorry, where that override is contained as well. MP Studio also has the ability to create reports of workflows running on agents within our environment. To do that, I'm going to right click on my registered management group. I'm going to select the agent workflow option. It's going to look at all the groups that are installed within that management group. If I, if I have a large number of agents and I want to filter those agents based on SCOM group, I have the ability to do that here. We're running in a, just a lab environment, so we have a small number of systems. I'm going to choose one of these systems to create a workflow report on that particular agent. This report can take a minute or two to create. And when it's presented here, I can see all of the MP elements that are running on that particular machine. You'll notice I have some lines that are highlighted in blue. Those represent overrides that are running on that particular agent. Uh, just like we can do with any other report within MP Studio, we can customize the view so I can, I can use this information to understand what management packs are running on this particular agent. I can see the overrides and perhaps I can use this information now to do some additional tuning if there's a lot of noise being generated by this particular agent. 